my name is Anne Karanja, and not a long time ago, I was scrolling through X, the former Twitter, and I came across a story of a man. Um, his name was Sylvan Penda. Yeah. So this guy was spreading rumors about the government and gossip that is not true about the government, and he was arrested. And the Twitter name he was using was Wanjiko Future C. And upon his tracking down and arrest, they found out he's actually a man, and not just a man, and not only a little man, but not the full lady he was pretending to be. So ladies and gentlemen, I want us to delve into the realm of gossip, a topic so much associated with women, that if a man has to gossip, he has to hide under a woman's skin. And I'll present three points <laughs> that are going to challenge this stereotype. And my first point is social media, just like I've mentioned. Um, we all use Twitter, I've seen it here. Mm -hmm. Those who've come across it recently, it's X. So in Twitter, the, the people who spread gossip the most, not only about the government, but also other individuals and prominent individuals are men. I can name but a few. We all know Mike Sonko, a former governor turned a gossip monger on social media, right? Yes. All right. We also have Osama Otero, for those who don't know, you can look him up after this. He spreads a lot of gossip about celebrities and also individuals that we barely know. We just see, you wake up one morning and you go to us off up on Twitter with the juiciest gossip about your personal life. You are minding your business somewhere in Sarit Centre and someone recorded you. I'll not delve into that. That was a trending topic this week. My second point is that uh, men have turned gossip into tea. What we call nowadays careers. Dorcas, do you know who the tea master in Kenya is? Of course. Of course. Who's the tea master? Edgar Barry. Edgar Barry. <laughs> I believe each and every one of us here has come across Edgar Barry. Edgar Barry has turned gossip into a career that gives him millions of money. You know, if you want to find out why Amber Ray broke up with Brampudo, it's because they could not afford rent and she had to take a case of, you know, she was assaulted by Rampudo and they had to break up so they could move to a small apartment. How do you find this? Through a man by the name and go back. <laughs> <laughs> My third point is that men are not as stoic as they used to be. Traditionally, men are assumed to be very stoic and very private about their details. But nowadays, you'll come on a Monday morning to work, say hi to a man in the lift, and all you want to know is how he's doing. But he'll talk to you and tell you, uh, you know, I'm doing great, my weekend was great, but uh, I bought a very vintage Mercedes, and I tried doing some renovations to it, but now it's turned into a pro gas cylinder. It doesn't look nice, it looks like a pro gas cylinder. And I'm like, James, all I wanted to know was, how you're doing and how you spent your weekend. I didn't need to know all the nitty gritties of your DIY projects and how you buy old cars and renovate them. So ladies and gentlemen, the next time you hear a juicy piece of gossip, do not assume it is from a chatty lady. It might be from the gentleman seated next to you who does not look like a Thank you so much. <laughs>